Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So most global equity markets have had a little bit of a rebound this morning as uh, commodity markets have managed to turn themselves around ever so slightly. Uh, global mining stocks managing to recover slightly after Glencore, the FTSE 100 miner that had dropped 30% just the day before, managed to rally a 16% gain yesterday as well, which um, was almost a fifth of its value. So quite a, quite a decent um, set of uh, gains across uh, a lot of those blue chip miners, which in turn has, has caused positive momentum to return to the markets, uh, with most global equities actually trading at the top end of the range first thing this morning, as we also look to finish the quarter. So with the US 30, we're quite a good bit away from anything of significance in regards to support or resistance. In fact, one level that we could just draw on here is uh, looking at the tip of the candle from the 15th of October. You can see that we weren't that far away from there yesterday, uh, albeit we'd obviously broken through it a few days before, um, and we've had this kind of bounce this morning. So maybe 15,870 could be a potential short-term support level for US 30. Now today also brings a speech by Janet Yellen uh, later on in the session, but we also have a, a raft of, uh, of data releases due today. Uh, we've got German um, uh, unemployment claims, we've got balance of payments from the UK, GDP from the UK as well, uh, consumer uh, price index for the Eurozone, employment, uh, unemployment rates for the Eurozone as well. Uh, followed up by the ADP private payrolls, which is usually a precursor to the non-farm payrolls on Friday. And then we've got our crude oil inventory uh, change there. So there's actually a fair amount of data, uh, mainly due out after 10.30 UK time. Uh, but if you're trading FX or <coughs> maybe perhaps the, the, the UK 100 and some of the American indices, um, there is data coming out today that could have a little bit of an impact. And people will be looking at, at the ADP private payroll for a little bit of clues as to what that NFP figure will be there on Friday. So jumping on to the UK 100, the kind of the rally that we had in, well not quite rally, but a slight kind of relief rally, I guess, on the, on, on the mining stocks caused us to get off the session lows there yesterday. We still ended up negative for the day, but similar to the US 30, we've managed to post a bullish candle so far this morning, trading at the top end of the range, uh, but this is before the actual underlying stock market in the UK opens up. Um, we're in the middle of two ranges, I guess. We're quite close to 60.73 as a potential resistance, with 57.70 still being the potential support. What does tend to happen is um, you have a relief rally. The risk always is uh, that the mining stocks become under get under pressure again after managing to uh, recover some losses yesterday. So do be a bit careful out there as well. So then looking at the Japan 225, it managed quite a strong rebound yesterday, uh, a hammer formation away from the session lows at 17.178, with 17,500 being the potential resistance level. Very, very tight range right here. It'd be interesting to see how things finish up uh, as we are towards the end of the quarter. So a lot of fund managers um, from many different uh, regions will be trying to shore up their gains and finish off their, their particular sessions. Um, to book their final P&L for that quarter, uh, and Japan will be no different. So then looking at US dollar, Japanese yen, a little bit unexciting to be honest, still oscillating around that 21 period SMA, other technicals are relatively neutral. Um, the, the yen was obviously getting a little bit more popular yesterday, even there was more uncertainty in the markets. When the markets had a bit of a spike back up again, um, people started to sell the yen, but it's not like the, the dollar has uh, set the world on fire yet either. So then looking at West Texas crude, again, not doing a huge amount, just below 45.85, which could be a short-term potential resistance level. The other technicals are looking quite neutral, but remember we do have the inventory data due today uh, at 3.30 UK time. I'm at 3.30 UK time, sorry. And then if we move on to uh, onto gold, uh, gold, you can get an idea um, that we're still trading below 11.37. Um, that's going to be a potential resistance level, but we're on the wrong side of that. Looks to be the 21 period SMA is providing support, uh, which will be interesting to see if that manages to stand. Failing that, you do have that 55 period SMA slightly below. We've almost got a negative crossover on the MACD, uh, so the pressure on gold is certainly on. And if we finish up with uh, your dollar and GBP USD, uh, your dollar not doing a huge amount after yesterday either. Uh, still bouncing around 21 period SMA in between two ranges, one spot 11 and one spot 14.75. Uh, we really need the macro data to come out today to add a little bit of extra momentum. But we do have uh, a host of uh, European data 
uh, with your uh, unemployment rate for the Eurozone and the CPI for the Eurozone uh, due uh, around about uh, 10 a.m. UK time. Um, and if we have a look there at the employment claim data from uh, Germany, that might also have a little bit of colour onto Euro dollar. And we finish up with GBP USD. We're now drifting below one spot 51.85. Next potential support is all the way down at one spot 48.13. Um, but we're not moving down with any um, kind of conviction at the moment, but it is a technical breakout. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see if we get any sort of retracement to try and get the head back above one spot 51.85. And that UK data today, the GDP data uh, and the balance of payments might be what we need to get above that level. So that gives you an idea of what to expect for today. Let's fast forward on to Thursday. The big one is going to be the Chinese um, PMI data release, which will be around about 2 a.m. UK time. Uh, a matter of fact, sorry, it's this one right here. It's the um, Zion. And that's actually going to be at 2.45 UK time. And uh, this is the one that everybody's going to be watching. Anything below 50 uh, seems to be a contraction. Uh, and, the, and the previous was 51.5. Uh, very, very keenly watched, so make sure you don't miss out on that. And remember, there's a whole host of PMI data releases all due out tomorrow. Tomorrow's a big day, and then, of course, Friday brings you non-farm perils. Don't forget to sign up for our live webinar, which will be with um, Colin Sikinski and Michael Hewson. You just go to support and then live trader events to sign up to our uh, non-farm payrolls webinar. Uh, where they'll both be debating the nuances of uh, the possibility if the US is going to be raising rates or not post NFP. So make sure you don't miss that out. So keep your eye on the chart forum. Lots of very useful information there as ever from Jasper and Michael Hewson in our UK office. Make sure you make insights part of your layout going forward. Our global team are ensuring that you are kept up to date with the major events in the market. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.